Alright, what is happening guys? This is Jason again, Carolina Camper Van. Hope you're doing well. Today I thought I'd share with you uh, some knots that I use when I'm camping. Uh, they're very useful knots and they're very easy to untie as well and that's why I like them. Um, so what I'll do is we will go over the running bowling, we will go over the trucker's hitch, and we will go over the fisherman's knot. So to demonstrate what I'll do is I'll get my hammock out of the pack and show you kind of guys how to tie a running bowling uh, with a half hitch and show you how easy it is to adjust the length of your hammock and super easy to get untied as well. And then what we'll do is I will set up a, a mock kind of clothesline you know, and show you how I tie that with a trucker's hitch. And then let's say we didn't have enough line our strings too long or it's too short excuse me and we need to get those strings tied together to make the an adequate length to tie that clothesline um, I'll show you how to set that up as well with the fisherman's knots so bear with me let me grab my hammock and we'll get going all right talk to you in a few bye when we wake hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun Oh, we know what we have that's hard Alright guys, so I don't have my headset on me today so I apologize, so hopefully this captures it So the first knot we're going to do is a running bowling And essentially what this will do is when you wrap it around the tree the harder you pull on it, the tighter this knot gets. So this is a great anchor knot for your hammock or clothesline or anything else that you need to secure. So let's see if we can capture it with the GoPro. So what you'll do is you'll go around the tree. Okay, got this, got your tail in, you got your working end. So then what you're gonna do is you're gonna make a loop just like that. Then you take your tail you go around the rope, go underneath it, excuse me, underneath the rope, back through your hole, back around your tail side, and then back through that same hole. And then you snug it, and you can see when you pull that, it's not going anywhere. Okay? So let's tie it again. And I'm hoping this video is turning out okay. I can't really tell. Okay, once again, on the wrap around the tree, grab your tail in, loop, okay, take your tail, go underneath the working end of the line, pass the tail through the hole, back around, and back through. Okay, just kind of secured a little bit. And again, the harder you pull with this guy, the tighter it's going to get. I mean, a lot of old, old kind of school arbors use this type of knot to descend trees. So they, it's not going anywhere. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do a half hitch. So to make a half hitch, all you do, take a bite of rope and push this line through. Just like that. And that's it. That's all there is to it. Okay, once more. It's easy to get out to you. So just take it. Loop it. Take that. Push it through. Okay, so that's one side of the hammock setup. Or the, the rope anyway. So let's grab our hammock. Okay. And the awesome thing about this is it's so easy to adjust if you need a longer loop for your hammock or a shorter loop. So let me grab the other line. Okay, and we're gonna repeat the process over here. So all we do is we take our rope around the tree, make a loop on the bite, underneath, through the hole, back around the hole, and then you just pull it through and then you just cinch it tight okay 
And then once again, we're gonna just make our loop. This is our little half hitch. Pull that through. All right, secure. All right, so then we take our hammock and we clip it in and we're like, oh, that's a little close to the ground. So we need to make an adjustment. So we're gonna come back over here. I don't fall down. Go ahead and undo your hammock. And we're gonna make this loop. We're just gonna put it up here. So again, real simple. Pull it out. Make your bite of rope up higher. Pull your tail through. Okay, come down and get your carabiner on your hammock. Secure it. Okay, and that's looking a little bit better. That's looking just a little bit better there. Okay, but we can probably shorten it just a little bit more. So what I'll do is I'll come over here and let's take this one down. Okay, and again, you can just pull that right out. It comes right out. Make your loop and then pass it right through that loop. Pull down on it. There you go. Now, you're ready to relax. And you're not going anywhere. So yeah, very, very, very useful knot. And again, I'll demonstrate the running bowling one more time. Okay. So let's take that off, pull that out. Just give yourself a little slack. And you can see how easy these knots come out. And they're so, so durable. They're not gonna come out on you. So again, around the tree. Okay, let's make our loop go underneath the big part of the rope. Pass it through the hole, back around, and then back through. And then you just cinch it down. And that, my friends, is going nowhere. Okay, cool. So now, we wanna make a clothesline. Okay, let me get the hammock off. Set this over here. And just set this one down for a second. And you can clearly see that we're not gonna have enough room, enough rope anyway, to get around this tree, right? So what do we do? Okay. There's all kinds of knots you can tie. These are just easy ones that you can tie that are also easy to undo, which is what I like. So again, take this one out. Let's go ahead and get rid of this. I'll show you a different method. So what we're gonna do first of all is we're going to extend out our rope. Right, it's too short. So we, we want to tie these two together in the easiest way possible. Okay, and the easiest way I've found is just on the rope somewhere. Put your thumb on this rope. You get your two ropes. Put your thumb on this one, parallel. Go around the rope one time with your thumb, and then just sneak it down behind it. Okay, and that's one side. Then you just repeat on this side. Put your thumb parallel to the rope. Go around your thumb. And then just bring it back through like this. Okay, and now watch this. You ready for magic? Voila. Now this booger is going nowhere. Okay. Once again, we can demonstrate them. And again, these are a little more, they cinch up pretty tight, but they're still not hard at all to get undone. Okay, so once again, we already have our running bowling on this side. Our line's a little, rope's a little short, so we wanna tie this rope together. So again, put your thumb running down the rope, go around it, and just pass it back through, okay? And then you just repeat on this side. Thumb running parallel, around it, and then push it through. And then once again, you just send them up. And now we have 
all kinds of rope to play with. Okay, so now we have all this rope, right? We just want to get a real, a real tight uh, clothesline. It doesn't have to be super tight because it's just holding clothes, right? But you can get as tight as you want. So what we're going to do here is we are going to make that same half hitch that we did for our, our hammock. So again, just on the line somewhere. Sorry about that, my battery just died. Okay, so again, the same thing we did with the hammock. We're gonna make one of these little half hitches. So make your loop and pull the other end through, okay? Now with this one, you're gonna go around the tree at your desired height. And you are going to now crank down on this guy as hard as you want. As hard as you want. That thing as tight as a tick with lock jaw. Okay. So to get this tied off, super simple. All you do is you pinch these two. Okay. And then you just take this piece and pass it through. Right here. And that's it. If you want to put a secure knot on the end, you can. But it's not going to go anywhere. And now you have your nice clothesline. That was too short. But since we used our fisherman's knot here, now we got a perfect clothesline. So once again, I'll demonstrate the trucker's hitch. Pull that through. Okay, and again, the awesome thing is, is they come out really, really simple. Okay. So again, we're going to make a around the tree. But before you get it tight, you want to make that half hitch. Okay, there's our half hitch. Let me just come around the tree. And you don't want to pull it too hard before you push this through. Because if you pull this rope too hard, this knot's going to come out. But if you put this through, it's not coming out. And again, you just cinch it down. And just get that bite line. Pull it right through here. And that's it. And again, if you want to do a backup knot, you can. You don't have to. It's not going anywhere. If, if my life was on the line, I'm in a tree somewhere, and this was holding me, obviously I'd do a backup line, but not necessary. But anyway, trucker's hitch, fisherman's knot, running bowling. All awesome knots for camping or even everyday use. So... Cool. All right, guys. Well, I hope you found this video informative. Um, I use these knots a lot, a whole lot, not just in camping. Um, I have a small little landscape company, so I'm always tying things up. And uh, these are the ones I use the most often. They're just simple and they work. So again, truckers, fishermen, running bowling. I appreciate you guys watching, and I'll talk to you next time. Hope you have a great day. All right, bye.